Hello, welcome back to Hollow Ground. And we're playing more Vampire Story. I am Luna, and we have Reese and Alec. What's up, y'all? Um, I like that you introduced yourself as the, not, the only not real name. That's because I'm not real. <laughs> I'm a hologram. Let me pull you back to reality, Becky chan Back to life. Back to reality. <laughs> it's the first one, love. I know. I'm just a little sleepy. But I'll be fine. You sure? Mm hmm If the game loads. Hashtag if the game gets a sequel. <laughs> oh yeah, we drugged you. We, we drained you. They killed him, yes. We drugged him, yes. We drugged him. <laughs> Mona's not a vampire. We drugged him. <laughs> and we blocked the door. You can pick up the fork now. Oh, uh, yeah. That's okay. a... <gasps> a shiving fork. I'll try to... Uh, oh, that's I not a thing. Oh. Damn it, I can't shiv. You are a woman with power. <laughs> I think Minna has but, suffered enough. But hey, that's Reed, let power. her out so she can bask in the glory of her handiwork. All her distractions are asleep. Or passed out due to lack of blood. Yay. Yay. One, two, three. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Something fell in front of... Oh my god! What? What? Bruno! Bruno? Uh oh. What? Oh, uh, we. Uh. He's asleep! Thank God! Thank you, Holy Spirit, <laughs> Lord above! You have blessed me far more than you will ever know! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> thank you! Okay, we're taking him of uh, us to Mina, Paris. I hate to interrupt your. Prayer of thanks, but I was wondering if you have time to go down to your cellar and find those bolts of blots of black cloth. <sighs> of course, my good friend. Anything for you. Anything. Yippee! Anything for you. <laughs> Let him run down and get it. Happy days are here again. The skies are blue. No, they're not. <laughs> What's with that face? I don't know. It has this feeling of warmth and accomplishment inside, and it seems to be making me smile, and I feel good. What is that? Because you inadvertently did a good deed. It happens once in a while, but don't you worry. It'll pass. All you have to do is do something selfish, and pop, it goes away. Trust me on this. <laughs> really? Okay, because this is too weird. <laughs> It took me a while. I, I had to pull down the enormous fort the kids made with my cloth bolts, but I found it. Twenty yards of my finest velvety black, and it's all yours for free for all your help you've given me. Wow! Thank you so much. This will be perfect. Well, good luck. We're off. To tell you. Ah. Oh no, it's the bats. Oh. Scene. Oh, we didn't have to go there. Nope. Mm. Makes life a bit easier. See, that worked. I'm gonna go play on the what? swing. Can we? And here's me thinking she was. Sorry, Fordrick, but we just don't have the time. I never get to do anything. You will in that sequel. Oh wait. Here's me thinking she was gonna Let wear black, but no. Nope. See if anybody's home. Just put them all over the graves. No luck. He must not be here. That might be a good thing. I imagine it would be awkward to explain while we're out here in the middle of the night trying to retrieve a box of your grave dirt. It's the caretaker's office for the graveyard. You were gonna find your grave. That's where we need to go. The caretaker has to have a map of the graveyard available. Don't fly over. I'm strong, but not that strong. I think I could fly up there, but I wouldn't be able to land due to all the crosses repelling me. Okay. 
just walk, I guess. Or not. Fly. Okay, there we go. I was trying to find the arrow. Ooh, wagon! Yank. Ooh, I like how the background You're just gonna moves. steal it. Yes. Mm -hmm. As soon as we get a horse hooked up, we'll have ourselves some transportation. In the meantime, I should be able to drag it the short distance to my grave. Oh, wait. Okay. No. No? Oh, well. Oh, it's toasty in here, Frodwick. Yeah, it really is, Mona. Mm. It's a pennant for the Vlad Landing All Blacks. Go All Blacks. Since you dream Gothard star player, they're going to cruise to victory. Oh. I don't want a poster of their local team. <laughs> I might Wait, need that, but do? I can't carry it around with me. I'll keep it in mind. Yay. What did Mona do? She trained the star player. She did? When? Yeah. When did she do that? Off this screen, might I come guess. In handy, but I'm not carrying it around. I'll keep it in mind. Because you knocked out the guy that was by your coffin boat. I don't need it right now, but I might later. <sighs> I remember <sighs> where it is in case I need to use it. Remember, that was the guard for the that was looking at the whores. And then you mean the um, women husband. Of low moral folk. I don't have much need for right, that right, right. anymore. Yeah, Vancy knocked out. A it's bad husband. When did he knock out a player? Looks like he's a vegetarian. Ugh. You take some nails. A vegetarian. I'm trying to find. I'm hovering over nails, but it won't let me. Hmm. There's a notebook fair. on the table. And it's very green. Oh, that's a puzzle. Did I think it's time for a crossword puzzle. puzzle. What's a nine letter word for a really bored bat? Um. Fodrick? That's right. Now let's move on. <laughs> Being a grave digger must be boring. I don't want to take away his only form of entertainment. So yes, he's not, as far as I remember, he's only had three victims. Never one hmm. player. Yeah. It's the caretaker's filing cabinet. Oh. We should look through oh, no, no, fire no, to see no. if anybody has a history of when mental you, illness. When she breaks into the place, she drains the guy who right by the door, and that was a star There's player. There's nothing in there that's going to be oh. off screen. Right, okay. I completely it forgot about like that. It looks like a map of the graveyard. Yeah, she panics. That should tell us exactly where you're going. Right. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see if I, remember I can now. find my grave. It's probably in the area reserved for famous entertainers and singers. Yeah, no. right. Sure. There sure are a lot of dead people buried around here. Do you see my grave anywhere, Fodrick? Yep, got it. It looks like your grave is in quadrant A113. Ah. You were originally buried between the graves of Jay Hoffa and my hopes and dreams for the future. Now that we know where it is, <laughs> we can go get some of my grave dirt. Wow, okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Beautiful dark swan. no! Well, look what the cat coughed up. Joke all you want, you insipid little rodent. You're going to need more than a sense of humor to escape my trap. I've just locked the door and taken the key. I'm afraid you are trapped. I'm never going back to that castle and I'll never love you. Try and get that through your thick head. Wouldn't you agree it's more like a gaseous head? I would rather die than spend <laughs> one more night with you living in that castle! You say you would rather die, hmm? Well, we shall see. 
I shall give you a couple hours to ponder your fate. I'm sure when I return, you will be much more agreeable with my most generous offer and return with me to the castle. Bruh, but you're for dead. Now, as punishment for your attitude, I shall leave you here. <laughs> When I return, I expect to find that you have adopted a more appropriate attitude. Hmm. I may have been stupid enough to let Shrouty transform me into a vampire, but I am smart enough to know that I shouldn't be sticking my hand into a fire. Yeah, back it anyway. Mm -hmm. It's a fire for the furnace. The fire has enough fuel to burn for hours. It's a drawer full of magazines, including battered tombs and crypts and rat fancy. Though I am tempted to look at Better Tombs and Crypts magazine, I really have to get out of here before the sun comes up. But maybe later. Hmm. <laughs> I'll wedge this under the door. It should give us a few inches of open space. I'm so smart. Indeed. Good. That's a lot of strength. Mm hmm. So now what? I can walk over there just fine. Hmm. Right, we. What else can you put? What else can you use? Hmm. Hold on. Ah. I can't use the bellows with that. That won't accomplish anything, I'm afraid. Sorry. And blow in it and make it go away. You need to put out the fire. It's an empty put in perfume bottle, I think. Look at that, you actually got it. The fire is roaring now. Um, huh. oh, you got a bucket of water now. Do it again. So now you can use that Sorry, water, Podrick, but I'm all out of perfume. Oh, Frederick. <laughs> going to the fire. Frederick, squeeze out of here and get the key. Unfortunately, the crop of grubs, mites, lice, and insects was really good this year, so I put on a few extra ounces. There's no way I'm going to fit through there now. Sorry, babe. Uh -huh. I can't use Frederick with that. I can't use He's Frederick with, with that. Nah. Can't squeeze through there. But you're halfway there. I'm living on a prayer. Mm hmm. What's with the lunchbox? Oh, it's just for funsies. I don't have much need for lunchboxes anymore. And you can't use the nails? Nope. Mm. Okay. They're weirdly, really specifically named. Oh, hold on. Sorry, go on, Alec. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're weirdly specifically named, but not, not interactable. Hmm. Maybe we could do something with that stock power. That thing is way too hot to touch. Are you using the, um, the thing on the stove again? The uh, bellows, yeah. That won't accomplish anything, I'm afraid. Sorry. Okay. I can't use the bellows with that. I can't use the bellows with that. 
Look I at the fish. The bellows with that. Nothing. It's just decoration. Hmm. Ooh. A wood pile. It's wood for the furnace. Take no it, Mona. Way. Too heavy. Okay. It's wood for the furnace. Oh god, was I meant to click Did on the bucket to... before I got locked in here? I don't know. Maybe. Have I soft locked the game? I don't Maybe. think so. Keep playing. But never let that leave your mind. I need to restart, don't I? No, 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 no. 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 Keep playing. There's probably something just missed. Ugh. What else you got on, on hand? A shovel, is it? A shovel. Using your shovel. Shucks. Try that won't work for some on reason. The for some Shucks. reason. That won't work for some reason. The Use rusty the old shovel won't work with that. The rusty 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 old shovel won't work with that. Huh? What's that? Oh, no mind. oh, she's doing something. She's doing something. Once I tip this over, the ice will at least be at the foot of the door. There you go. Timber! Yippee! Said what? Now you should be able to slide through. Well... Fodrick could, probably. Mm, no, um... Oh! The Bex, bucket use froze. The... Bex, use the, um... Oh, thingamabob. The bellow? That's the one. Mm -hmm. Is it by the door? You can probably pick up the water. I can't use the bellows with that. Oh, uh, never mind. There's no water, Race. It's ice. Oh. Right, I can't use the bellows right. with that. It, it froze instantly. <laughs> so, the bucket's in front of the door now. I wish I could, but Shroudy locked it and took the key with him. Try using the shovel, hun? Not the shovel, the uh, pickaxe. I used it on the door. And now it's not yeah. lit. Uh, it's firmly attached to it now. No. Right. You can't take the, um, the uh, flag, right? Let me try it now. Oh. I don't want a poster of the local team. Have you tried using the shovel on the furnace? Oh, I can give it another See, yeah, the first time from ever quickly. Well, it wasn't burning. So. I bet I could get the tip of this shovel red hot in this fire. I don't need to do it now, but I'll remember this idea for later. Okay, well, you can melt the ice with that now. Yeah. Shucks. That won't work for some reason. Try the door itself. Okay. Uh, just there we go. Here. Now might be a good time to heat up that shovel and slide it under the door. There we go. La 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 la. There 
we go. No, you can put up the put out the fire. Yes, Mona, walk wow, through Mona. your escape. That worked pretty good. The hot shovel melted the ice and formed a cool little puddle. You aren't so ditzy after all. And you are as rude as ever. So I wasn't too far off. <laughs> yeah. A bellows full of water might be useful. I'll keep that in mind. Then you can use it on the furnace. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to fill this with water. Bellows, the quicker picker-upper. There you go, now you're not soft locked. <laughs> sick, sick. I guess you can fly out now? Yep. I'd imagine so. Looks like we have a way out. Now. Let's get out of here before Shroudy comes back. They would easily fit through that glass door, like the same as the shovel. Uh, it's just an arbitrary puzzle, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. We did it! Fudgic! We escaped Shroudy's trap! And we positively identified the location of your grave. Let's go get us some dirt. We don't have a horse with us. But since it's such a short distance, I should be able to pull the cart. That superhuman undead strength of yours is coming in pretty handy. <laughs> See, Mona, being a vampire isn't all bad. It's bad enough, trust me. And since I am a vampire, we'd better go get some of my grave dirt. If I don't have it to line my coffin, I may not survive the night. Would it help motivate you if I yelled mush when you start pulling the cart? <laughs> Would you still be able to fly if I pulled your wings off? I think the answer to both of those questions is no. Anyway, let's grab a couple of those boxes <laughs> and head over to your grave. We got a little digging to do. <laughs> Mona, didn't I say we had some digging to do? I'd love to help, really. But you it are doing such a good nails. job, I, I'd only get in your way. I'm not sure how much dirt we need, but I already have one full box loaded in the wagon. That should be... No, you'll never escape me. <laughs> what was that? I got a bad feeling about this. Shroudy! Uh oh. Oh no. I have your precious black cloth, <laughs> and I know for a fact that there is none left in all of Vlad's Landing. <laughs> Without being able to cover the gravestone, <laughs> you'll never be able to pull the wagon out of here. I hate to admit it, Mona, but he's right. Hey, apparition boy, I thought you loved her. If she can't get her grave dirt back to a coffin by the time the sun rises, she'll die. If I can't have her, then nobody shall. Oh, I would slash rather nice be guy? dead forever than spend one additional second of my life anywhere near you. So long, my love. I will see you in the afterlife. Did, Mona, did they forget to forget to come voice line her or something? The wagon, mm. And you can't do it if the gravestones are exposed. <laughs> it looked like he was saying something, but I guess not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Pick up the dirt, I guess, from the box. Hmm. Oh. Yoink it. I probably should bring it along, but nah. <laughs> okay, Frederick, help. It's the headstone for my grave. Looks like Lover Boy went all out. Apparently, he had your headstone carved out of fine Italian marble, and it looks like the etching is inlaid with some sort of precious metal. Mona, you have the finest headstone in the cemetery. That's great, but I'd rather still be alive and singing at the Pelli Opera. We must not disturb our only beacon of hope in this dark, forlorn place. Plus, it's hotter than hell because I put too much kerosene in it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 
It's a wagon holding boxes of my grave dirt. Just box. Box, Mona. Mm -hmm. You never put the other box. Can Frodrick lift it up? <laughs> no. Mm, definitely not. Apparently it's my... My... Well, my grave. Though I'm not actually in it. Which makes me feel very weird. Aww. Oh, Mona. Mm hmm Nah. 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 So, Reese. Mm hmm Not that she's dug her own grave. Maybe she should lie in it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Problem there, love. Yeah, I'm just... I'm Use. stupid. Use Froderick on the box, Becky. Let's see if he lifts it up. I can't use Froderick with that. Ah. I could fly over there, but then I would have to leave the wagon and dirt behind. I better stay here until I figure out this dilemma. And is there anything on the wagon? Hmm, one second. Maybe I can use the flyer to cover up the... No. The horse flyer won't work with that. Is there anything on the wagon? Uh... Ooh, a reaper tombstone. Okay, let's see. Just that. I think that's behind it. He looks grim. You would be too if you were never invited <laughs> to dinner. Huh. I better not push it, or it would careen down the hill out of control and smash into the graves. Mm. Use Frederick on it. <laughs> Frederick! Frederick, do you think you could steer the wagon? You know me. I'm always up for trying something new. Just let me know when you're ready for me to steer it. Oh, okay. Okay. Just click on it, I guess. I have it, Fodrick. You said you could steer it, right? Yep. I think I can handle this old jalopy. Great. You steer, and I'll push. Since we are high up on this hill, you should be able to gain enough speed to drive the wagon out of the graveyard down the road and right up to Madame Strigoi's camp. And then I'll just fly out far away from the crosses. Brilliant. Who says opera stars are dumb as doornails? Doornails have got <laughs> nothing on you. Thanks, Frodrick. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> I was born ready. Although, if truth be told, I am feeling just a tad bit apprehensive about this. I'm sure you'll do fine. Just do me a favor and be careful. It's nice to know you care. With those boxes of grave dirt. For a second there, I thought you were concerned about my well-being. Oh, don't be such a wuss. If things get hairy, just fly away. Of course, if you do that, you will be sentencing me to death. So... No pressure. <laughs> Olive Wolf, Rodrigue! Ready? Go for it. So we're not putting our box in the wagon? Yeah! I guess. Just one. That's what Mona yeah, decided. Get him! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, find it already! What is the freaking holdup? What did the Cabal do? Send the stupidest vampire hunters in the history of all mankind? Find it already! No, no moron! You already looked there! Um, uh, <laughs> Monsignor? Uh, we already looked there. Twice. Oh, pipe down, you walking stillbirth! I know what I'm doing! I'm just... Just being thorough! Standard cabal procedure! <laughs> Standard procedure? Standard procedure? Standard procedure? My arm! This is so frustrating! That's it! I'm just going to have to break the curse and just go in there, my... What?
Hmm. What manner of being dares to challenge Madame Strigoi? Hmm. Uh oh. If I do say so myself. High five. High what? You raise your hand like so and slap it together. Why? Madame Strigoi! We heard a scream! Huh? Oh, oh, there you are. No, no, I'm fine. I, I just like to scream randomly once in a while. Let's me know I'm still alive. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, fish posh. Anyway, we did it. We have all the things we need for this ship. I wanted to thank you for all your help and... No, no need. But I want to... No, I mean, no need for all that now. Dr. Riga Mortis, a brilliant doctor, an old friend, sent me a message saying he can cure you of your vampirism. But he must do it tonight, when all the stars are aligned. <laughs> stars all aligned? What does that have to do with Quite anything? You. Really? Where? How is it? Now. Go now before it is too late. He said come to his lab. In the windmill, just past the dam. Follow this road down to the gorge by the end of the lake. Trust me, <laughs> you can't miss it. <laughs> well, okay. If he's your friend. Yes, yes, long time friends. Old poker buddies. Now go, no more talk, quickly. Bye-bye, au revoir. Goodbye, au revoir. I need that sequel! Yes, yes, go off to my good friend, Dr. Rigor Mortis. <laughs> You'll know just what to do to you. <laughs> and then I, Shroudy Von Kiefer, will be your only hope for salvation. <laughs> You'll be glad to see me then. Yes, you will. You'll appreciate old Shroudy then, won't you? <laughs> I will make you like me, boss, you obviously wanna. Yep, that's chapter two. Now we play chapter three. Whenever it comes out. Ah. <laughs> uh. Aww. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna pretend she just realized it was all a ruse and went to Perry. It's the only thing you can do at this point. <laughs> the fanfic.net! <laughs> <laughs> Time to write your own stuff. Oh yeah, that was a fun game. Yeah, it was. It's a shame that, you know, it ended a cliffhanger. Yeah, way better than I expected. Mm -hmm. I expected such a... Oh, good, good know, job seeing mid... Carla. <laughs> <laughs> I expected a very mid-game, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a shame they could have just ended it her going to Perry, but there you go. So I suppose in chapter 3 she would have found her servant that would help her for the day. Maybe. There was a werewolf lady in all the concept art I saw. And in the small video we saw there's some other characters too mm. that didn't show up. Yeah. The Eagle and Frankenstein. And the monster. All working in the background diligently. Yep.
Uh, well, I guess we'll just have to wait until they finally get their funding. Yeah, whenever that'll be. I'm sure it'll happen. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, Becky? Otherwise, we'll be committed to a hospital until we're ghosts. <laughs> Ooh, this is funky. Manifesting sequel! Manifesting sequel! Oh, look at it go! Look at it go! Well, it has been 11 years already, so... Reese, this came out in 2008. And the Kickstarter was 2013, what's your point? Manifesting, 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 manifesting! <laughs> Good job, Jog! You directed everyone's voices good! Ooh. Oh, oh. Ah, this only was a short stream today. Mm. Yeah. More sleep for you to catch up on. Pretty much. Dance, Frederick! Dance! What we? We do a little bit dance! Well, look on the bright side. If there is ever going to be a sequel, you can put your chops to the test specs. You've got the accent down pat. You, you, yeah, you actually sound like Mama, so you should probably apply. <laughs> <laughs> I have no acting experience, but I can pull off a fun convincing Mona. <laughs> <laughs> when will they be back? I can my story too. They will be. They no. promised. Please, right, please. Please. Ah, Frederick. Please, 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 please make that sequel. Please, 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 please. <laughs> well, now what? Um. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Good night. <laughs> See you good in the next night. one. Bye bye.